while since I've done a multi-tool review. And so recently I picked up one of the Gerber MP600s, and this is the ST model, which is the tactical model. Uh, Gerber has been issuing these to the U.S. military for a number of years now. Both forces in Iraq and Afghanistan have received the Gerber multi-tool. But one of the things I love about the Gerber MP600 over many other multi-tools is this one feature. It slips right out once single-handed. Of course, you can also grab here and push your pliers straight out. And in fact, one of my best buds has had one of these for at least 10 years. And it is a really, he loves it. He carries it every day to work. Uh, he works as an engineer and he uses it on the shop floor a lot. And so he has bought a couple since that time. And so I have always admired this tool. And so finally, I have one for myself. And we're going to take a good look at the MP600 ST from Gerber. The pliers themselves are a stainless steel with a black oxide finish on it. Uh, it keeps it really nice. It's a very smooth finish. It's not the rough parkerization. It just has a really nice sheen to it. Okay, now, one of the things that you're going to notice about the Gerber that could be a little disconcerting for many is because of this feature. Now, to close these pliers, you have to push in these two tabs. But because this tool does release in this way, there is a little bit of play right here. And that's what allows for the pliers to come flying up through here. Now, the one thing I did notice, you'll see that there is some play. But when you bear down on these, there's not any play. And these tools are made to be tight when you use them. So even though you do get a little bit of this wobble when it's loose, holding on to the pliers really gives you a steady platform. In fact, you're not going to be able to release these pliers holding it tight like this. It has to be held this way so that the plier can slide through the channels. But I still find the plier to be very adequate for what it's used for. I do have a number of Leathermen that are really exceptional multi-tools. But I think Gerber has a really great design right here with the MP600 ST. You do have your fine needle nose pliers here. And then we have a more rounded plier to be able to get bigger objects. You have a carbide cutter right here that is replaceable. So you can replace these two cutters in case you have any kind of damage or you bend them. Also we have a crimper and then of course right here you can actually bend, do some things with the metal. The locking mechanism right here keeps the pliers from reverting back into the handle. So if you're ever using them and pushing it's going to lock that down. And then you push the two middle tabs to release the pliers back into the closed position. Now you do have an inch, three inch ruler right here. And then here we have centimeters on this other side. Of course we've got Gerber scribed right into the side and multiplier. The model MP600 ST refers to multiplier 600 and then ST stands for sight tool. This particular model is made toward the AR-15 rifle or M4 rifle. Now one of the first things you're going to notice is a very unusual tool right here. And this is your sight adjustment tool. It fits right on the front sight and you can turn it. It is magnetic and it comes off and you have a longer piece here. Also specific for the AR-15 is this carbon scraper. Now the carbon scraper keeps carbon off of your bolt and keeps your rifle highly maintained. Of course we have a knife with a plain edge and serrations. It 
kind of has a sheep foot design to keep you from jabbing yourself. We have a large flathead screwdriver. Then we have a smaller flathead screwdriver with a bottle opener on it. And then we have a very small screwdriver that can be used as an awl. So we have three separate flathead screwdriver sizes. On the other side, beside the sight tool, we have a small little lanyard ring. We have a can opener. And then we have a Phillips head screwdriver. One of the improvements that they made with this particular tool was making a longer Phillips head screwdriver. And one of the things you're going to notice that if you extend this into the full position, uh, it has a safety, so you're going to have to pull down to push it forward. And of course, that keeps it from backing down on your finger in case you're using it with a lot of firmness. Closed is just barely over 5 inches at 5.04 inches. Fully extended, it's 6.61 inches. And the weight on it is just over 8 ounces at 8.2 ounces. With the sheath, it's 9.8 ounces. Now here you see the sheath. This is a very well constructed, nice Velcro tab. Also this is Molly compatible where you can slip it right in as I've got on this bag. Very handy, excellent system. And has a Molly attachment right here to be able to put on your gear. To access it you just need to get something up under this tab to pull it loose and then you can thread it through your Molly or Pals webbing. Then when you get it into place just push it and it'll lock. And so there are two choices with the pouch color. You do have the desert tan and you can also get this in black. I've seen some of the military surplus Gerber multi-tools that are coming back with the ACU and they seem to be pretty flimsy. This is a nicer uh, sheath system. Now the Gerber military MP600 ST does have a lifetime guarantee on it. So if anything ever breaks, you can send it back to Gerber and they'll take care of it. This goes great in a go bag. It goes great with your armor bag or your range bag. Uh, if you're out on the range and you need to have a tool to be able to do some things, it's always good to have a good multi-tool in your pack. The manufacturer suggested retail on the Gerber MP600 ST is $95. Typically, if you go into some of your favorite gun or knife uh, online sources or even your local gun shops, you can find these for somewhat less. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This little Gerber MP600 and the Gerber MP600 <laughs> and the Gerber MP600 is this one reason. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and the Gerber MP600 is an excellent multi-tool.